In the last few years, a new supplement has become a bestseller. Spirulina is available as a powder or a tablet. It's high in protein and other nutrients. A cup of spirulina has more protein than two whole chicken breasts. What's more, NASA scientists have made it part of an astronaut's diet. Astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti is on the International Space Station, 200 miles above the Earth. Samantha has been living on this space station for the past six months, carrying out a project on food and nutrition. I'd like to show you some uh, ideas, healthy snacks that we have here on board of the International Space Station. For example, we have plenty of fruit and we also have plenty of nuts. How about, for example, some macadamia nuts? Mm. I also have this very special power bar and it contains plenty of very healthy, nutritious ingredients like uh, whole grain cereals, fruits, dry fruit, nuts, seeds, and a special ingredient called spirulina. There is no fresh food in space. Astronauts need nutrient-dense foods like spirulina that are lightweight. Here at the Belgian Nuclear Research Center, there she is, there she is. Welcome to the International Space Station, welcome aboard. A hundred budding science students are investigating, with Samantha, how to grow spirulina in space to enable long-term human spaceflight. I want to ask you if spirulina can replace all other types of food. Good question. While the kids quiz Samantha up in space, I want to talk to a scientist down here on Earth. Natalie? Hello. Kate, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Microbiologist Natalie Lees has been exploring what's in spirulina. It's a good source of vitamins and also some minerals. Uh, astronauts are under a lot of stress and also the space conditions has an effect on their immune system and their blood system. So they need to get uh, sufficient minerals and vitamins to stay in good shape, of course. So uh, this contributes to that. Well, NASA and the European Space Agency are obviously interested in the stuff. So what exactly is spirulina? Thessaloniki in northern Greece is home to one of the largest spirulina producers in Europe. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, come in. They supply not NASA's astronauts, but the booming health supplements industry. I'm here to meet Chrissa, who founded this farm. So, where's your spirulina? This is a spirulina uh, cultivation in, pod. It's in there. Yes, it is in there. It is in microscopic algae. <gasps> see, that's it. Yes, barely see them. They're very tiny. But those little, little, tiny little strands, that is spirulina. Yes, that is spirulina. So it's basically pond scum, isn't it? Really? Yes. This algae is a very basic type of bacteria that's believed to be one of the earliest life forms on Earth, dating back around three and a half billion years. Perhaps that's why it can survive radiation in space. It's very transformed. <laughs> yes. But the processing techniques to make this green goo are really very simple. It's really quaggy. It's a bit like glue. This wet mixture is then dried and turned into a powder often sold as a health supplement. But we couldn't film it as the producers wanted to keep their manufacturing process a secret. The finished product has a high concentration of protein and Krissa also believes it has another very special power. You remain younger for longer. You, that's you that's see... a bold claim. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 94. It's a human feeling. No, I'm not. <laughs> there are many unproven claims surrounding spirulina. That it's able to solve chronic fatigue, to heal wounds, even to protect against radiation and HIV. But as yet, there is no scientific evidence to back these claims up. 
What we do know is that spirulina is certainly packed with protein and very nutritious, so it does have its uses in space and as a protein supplement. But you really shouldn't need it if you eat a healthy, balanced diet.